James Kaufman, World News Report Today. Today is August 7th, 2023, noon central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we've had three M flares already today. NASA is claiming four M flares. The first M flare that we see here occurred at 429 to 441 UTC time. It was an M2.4 from Sunspot AR3386 again. So it was probably much stronger since that sunspot is around the limb. Now NASA is claiming that we've had three additional M flares. I personally see two, so we're going to report two until we get more information. These all came from 3387, AR3387, Sunspot 3387. This picture was supposedly taken at 7.06 this morning. It's amazing that AR3386 is still visible here. It really shouldn't be. It's been three days right there on the limb. You can see 3387 right to the 10 o'clock position here. Now, those are the two sunspots responsible for all of these M flares, if it be three or if it be four per NASA. Again, these are facing the gas giants on the western limb of our sun. We've seen that as these sunspots go around towards that limb and face these gas giants, they become more complex and have produced X and M flares once they get into that position. Earth will be moving in between the gas giants and the sun within the next few days. Heading over to our D-Region Absorption Prediction Center, we're still in a polar cap absorption event. The proton storm is over, but the event continues. You can see the event on and off. Very strange continues to flash on and off and seems to weaken. Now we're only going to be able to show you this last M flare. They say it was an M1. And it looks like it occurred right here. That would be 16, 16 UTC time, which matches up with that, well, double M flare, if you will. Heading over to STO, take a look and see 3386 flaring and we can see I guess those flares coming from 3387 up here right before the end over at 171 angstroms 3386 as it faces those gas giants 3387 also extremely active pretty much all the time it looks like a lot of these other sunspots are active as well but NASA has claimed that the first larger flare came from AR3386, which is eclipsed by the limb of the sun, probably meaning it was larger. And there were two for sure, maybe three M flares from 3387, which is also reaching the limb of our star, again facing the gas giants. With that said, no serious activity that was Earth-facing per se. Uh, we are expecting a geomagnetic storm at some point later today into tomorrow. So we will keep our eyes on that and get back to you with all updates. God bless you. Please share, subscribe, and always remember that anything's possible in Bizarro World.